Hello again, and welcome back to FSD TV. I'm your host, Mark Sunny, and today we have Daniel Hernandez with us, who's going to show us what happens to your heart rate before, during, and after exercise. I can't wait to see this. Take it away, Daniel. Hey, thanks, Mark. I'm Mr. Hernandez. I'm the PE teacher at Orange Thorpe and Valencia Park Elementary. Now, I'm excited to be joining with you guys again today. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I need us to go into prioritizing our health. I don't know if that's students, parents, teachers, faculty. We need to start doing that. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, I don't have that much time throughout the day. I'm taking care of others. Now, the thing you want to focus on is if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of others the best way? So the best way I think we could do that is starting today. Okay? And we're going to focus on our heart. Now, our heart. Our heart beats 115,000 times per day. I don't know if you knew that. That's, that's a big job, okay? And so what we're going to be focusing on today is checking our heart rate at rest, during a workout, and after a workout, okay? So our heart rate, that's actually the measure of beats per minute, okay? And the way we check it, there's a couple ways. One of them is called the carotid artery, and this that's found right here. So let's all practice that. So get two fingers, start off right at the jaw, slide it down, and slightly push into your neck. And push in a little further if you do not feel that pulse. Feel it? Awesome. The other way is called the radial artery. And that's right, found right at the radius, the bone right here. Follow your thumb, two fingers again, and right on the inside of the wrist. So start off soft, then slightly push in, Feel it? Awesome. So we're going to be checking either the carotid artery or the radial artery while we're doing these different things in our workout. Okay? Now, the way you, you check your heart rate, your pulse, is you have to do a little bit of math. The way I like to make it a little bit easier is you count for six seconds how many times your pulse was going, and then you multiply that number after you count it by 10. And that gets you the number that we can check. At rest, your heart rate should be between 60 and 80 beats per minute. So how many times your heart is beating? The one, the heart rate that you want to make sure you're staying in to get the healthiest is your target heart rate. That's 140 to 170 beats per minute. Now the last number, that's called the maximum heart rate. Now that number is gonna be different for everyone. That's why it's in blue. Because you have to do a little bit of math before that. You have to get 220 minus your age, and then it gets you a number where you don't wanna stay up in that heart rate. That's too, that's more of a dangerous number. And so I, I put 210. That's if you are 10 years old, 220 minus 10, or I'm sorry, 220 minus your age, 10 years old, is 210 beats per minute. You don't wanna stay in that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what our resting heart rate right now that we're relaxed. And then when we get into our workout, we're gonna, re we're gonna check it again. So here we go. Find whichever one you wanna start, whether it's the radial or carotid, right here. Get a stopwatch, and we're gonna be timing it for six seconds while you count. Okay, find it. Ready, begin. And stop. What did you get? I got eight. So what I do with that number eight, I multiply it by 10. And the easiest way is you just add a zero at the end, right? So I had eight, multiply by 10, 80. So I'm right at the top of where my heart rate should be, resting heart rate, okay? So now we're gonna go into a little workout, okay? Last time you joined me, we did a Tabata workout. Today, we are gonna do what's called a dynamic pyramid workout. And what will you do is you're gonna be going increasing in repetitions up that pyramid and then go down and hit those different exercises. All right, so the first exercise is gonna be a push-up with knee tuck and that's, you're gonna have to do that 10 times. Then you're gonna have to do the second exercise where you're gonna do explosive lunges, 20. Then you're gonna go into mountain climbers, 30. Then cross body lunges, 40. And then when you get to that top of the pyramid, 50 ab bicycles, all right? We'll check our heart rate there, 
And then when we go down that pyramid, we should be going even faster. Faster with our repetitions, a lot more energy, and we're gonna hit those exercises again. And then we'll check our heart rate again. Let's see if we can get it to that target heart rate. Are you ready? Here we go. First exercise, 10 push-ups with a knee tuck. So you're gonna get in that push-up position. You're gonna do a knee tuck, back out, and then a push-up. Now, if you can't do that regular push-up, that's all right. What you wanna do is that modified push-up, right? So you're gonna go knees, hips forward. You're gonna go knee tuck. You can go one at a time. Go in that modified position, push-up. All right, here we go. Let's do 10. Ready? And count with me. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. You feel your heart rate starting to pump up. Here we go. Explosive lunges. Twenty. One foot forward, one foot back. Back straight. We're going to focus on that back knee. Now, if you could do the explosive lunges, try it. Where you go down, you switch. All right. If you can't, that's all right. Go slow. Reverse. Down. Forward. Down again. Here we go. 20 this time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. You feel your heart rate beating. Here we go. 30 mountain climbers. We're gonna get back into that push-up position. This time, count on your own. And we're gonna go one knee in and switch. Ready and begin. Thirty. Nice job. That one was a little quicker, right? Starting to get a sweat. Here we go. 40 cross body lunges. You're gonna feel these in your glutes a lot more. Back straight, one leg cross in front, and then keep, make sure your hips are face forward. Cross, go down, back forward. Now the other leg, cross, go down, back to the center. And we keep alternating. Here we go, 40. Ready, go. Come on, keep going. I'm halfway. Almost there, 10 more. Nice job, here we go. Our top of the pyramid. We're gonna go 50 ab bicycles. After this one, quickly find your pulse. We'll check it for six seconds. Here we go. Now you could do these two ways. On your back, here, or challenge yourself a little bit more. That V-sit position. All right, here we go. We're only doing this once, and then we go down the, the mountain, down the pyramid. So here we go. Ready, go. Ten more. Good job. Here we go. Stand up. Find your pulse. Find your pulse. Found it. Get ready to count in six seconds. 
and begin. Stop. All right, what'd you get? Get that number, multiply it by 10. Remember, add the zero at the end. I had 16. So that means I have 160. I'm right in the center of my target heart rate, 160. All right, we need to finish strong. Let's go down that pyramid. Ready? We're on 40 again. Cross body lunges, you feel it in your legs. Get ready, 40, ready, go. Pick up the pace, come on. Halfway. Ten more. And nice, done. Forty there. All right, thirty mountain climbers. Nice job. Keep it strong. Come on. Push up position. Ready, go. Thirty time. Nice job. Almost there. Two more. Explosive lunges. Remember, if you can't go into that explosive, go reverse. Nice and easy. Focus on keeping that back straight. Get ready. 20. Ready, go. Few more. 20. Whoo. Nice job, nice job. Last ones. Push ups, knee tuck, 10 of them. Check our heart rate again. Get ready. Ready, go. Ten. Woo! Nice job, nice job. Quickly, find your arter, your pulse. Found it? Should be beating pretty fast. Let's see where we're at. And start. Time. What'd you get? Did you get about the same at the top of the pyramid? Remember, multiply by 10, add the zero at the end. I had 18. Last time, I was at 160. Now I'm at 180 at the top of my target heart rate. Man, but it's still lower than my maximum heart rate, so I'm good. Now, remember, you wanna make sure, check. Check your heart rate, and what, what's gonna be telling you if you're doing really well at making sure your health is prioritized, you get your heart rate hard, really high up during the workout. Then after a few minutes, if you can get it back down to the resting heart rate, your heart's doing really well. But if after a few minutes you haven't been working out and your heart rate is still being fast, that means that that's telling you, you need to keep doing these different workouts to make sure it relaxes, your heart rate gets stronger. All right, so let's do a few stretches to finish off our, our workout today and then we'll check our pulse again. See if we can get it down to the resting heart rate. Here we go. Right arm across. Pull that elbow in. Rotate the wrist. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great job. Switch arms. Pull that elbow in. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Great job. You can already feel you're, you're getting more in, getting your breath back, controlling that. 
Here we go. Let's go one more stretch. We're going to go into a lunge position with our knee down. This is what I call a Spider-Man stretch. Really important. You get both hands on the inside, knee up, push off of one hand, reach up, breathe. Switch hands. One hand down, open up. Great job, let's switch legs. All right, open up one arm. Breathing. Switch arms. Open up. Breathing. Great job. Let's go one, one more deep breath, ready? And breathe out. Great job, let's check our pulse again. Find it, all right, here we go. Find your pulse. Ready, and count. Stop, what'd you get? Was it lower? Hopefully it's lower. I have 16, so mine's still a little higher, 160, okay? But it did drop from 180 in the few minutes, okay? So that's hopefully what's your case. And if, again, if it's still high, that's all right. Keep doing these workouts and check it again. See if you can get that drop, all right? Now, hey, it's been an awesome workout today. I enjoyed working out with you guys. I need you guys to try this at home. Get your pulse, check it every time you do a workout. Get, again, parents, faculty, I'm encouraging you as well. Get out there, starts now. Let's prioritize our health. Have a good day. Woo! My heart is beating like a rabbit after that lesson. Thank you so much, Daniel, and let me catch my breath. On behalf of everyone here at FSD TV Studios, my name is Mark Sunny, and stay healthy, Fullerton.